tonight. As your Ozark Sporting Good Power Eyes Super Shocks making their way out here for heat race number one. Top three are going to go to the scales. All right, heat race number one out there on the speedway right now. We have they're going to be the 56 of Mark Davis. I'm trying to get my computer to load here. The 4X of Krieger Harris, Brad Phillips, Joe Francis, Brandon Hall. Devin Irvin out there as well. Here they come. In the turn, number one race in action underway here. Fall brawl night number two. Here comes Krieger Harris down to the inside of Davis. Nothing doing. Oh, the 32 there. Joe Francis having a little bit of issue. Going to drive the infield kick. Oh, the dust up. Going to slide back onto the speedway. Mark Davis going to lead a lap. Number one going to move and shake and bank race fans. Down the back stretch and a turn three. Here comes Mark Davis, your race leader, trying to punch his ticket in the leader tonight. Remember the top four have already got their starting spots. Davis, Krieger, Harris right now gonna be one and two. The 32X Brand Films running in third. Contact between Brandon Hall and Joe Francis. As racing continues, they're able to continue to go. Mark Davis gonna tiptoe here through this one. And bacon in a turn number three. Here comes a Mark Davis Krieger Harris right there behind him. Still gonna be Brad Phillips there. Oh, trouble turn number four. Krieger Harris gonna loop it, gonna bring out the Joker welding caution flag for the first time this evening. Joker welding caution coming out for the four X of Krieger Harris running there all by himself and just gonna send it around. Looped it a little bit there. Lights are going off, green flag racing this next time by race fans. Hey, I want you all, our good buddy, Super Shane, the voice of the mighty Midway Speedway, off getting married today. Congratulations to Shane. As the field's going to pace off into turn number three again, congratulations to our good buddy Super Shane. But here comes Mark Davis going to take that green flag down the front stretch. He's going to go. Got a good start here. There, Brad Phillips there in the 32X. Here comes Smoke and Joe Francis there in the 32 machine. The white one down the back stretch. Got a good run going in for him. Again, Krieger Harris brought out the Joker welding caution and down out of turn number four. Brandon Hall having to check up right there, having a little bit of issues there in the 82 machine. It's been Mark Davis from the drop of green. Brandon, Brad, sorry, Brad Phillips having a little bit of issues there. Now getting turns one and two. Joe France is going to drive around him as Hall's going around there in turn number two. Going to keep it under power. We're staying green right now on the speedway. Mark Davis still going to be your race leader. Down the back stretch, they're going to fall single file. It's going to be Davis, Francis, Phillips, and Krieger. And Hall going to round out your field as it sits right now. White flag, one to go for the 56 of Mark Davis. Going to get an opportunity to go for $1,000 later tonight down the back stretch. He's going to go for the final time. Francis in tow. In a turn number three, and a turn number four. Checkered flag for the 56 of Mark Davis. Joe Francis followed by the 32 X of Brad Phillips.
All right, your Ozarks pretty good power eye super stock. Heat race number two, going to line up like this. Starting on the pole in the G1, going to be Nick Gibson on his outside, the 21W of Ted Welshmeyer. Holy smokes, what's going on in turn number three? Row number two, starting on the inside, is going to be the 11 of Derek Brown on his outside, the 29K of Chris Kircher. On starting shotgun here in row number three, going to be the 30 of Craig Spencer. Race fans, if you were watching last night there, the 29K of Chris Kircher was in the fourth and final transfer spot to lock himself into the main event tonight and get that top, one of the top four spots. But Heartbreak Hotel, as he was involved in a turn four collision and ended up finishing last in the feature, so having to work his way through here, keep an eye on that 29K. Next up, we're going to have the Super Stock Dash to determine their pole position. Going to be a good one. Green flag back in the air here in the mighty Midway Speedway fall. Brawl night number two, Welshmeyer going to be on the high side around the speedway right now. Gibson going to be stuck in the middle of no man's land. Here comes Brown. And a turn number three, Welshmeyer going to go to the high side of the speedway. Brown right there underneath him going to be a drag race to the line. Brown going to lead lap number one. Fall brawl night number two. Here comes Brown. Oh, Gibson's going to spin in from the field. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but the 30 of Craig Spencer going to stop it. Caution flag is going to come out. My goodness, you want to talk about these drivers using every inch of the track. They are literally using every inch of the track right now. Tough, tough run right there for Nick Gibson. Got a little squirrely there. Going around. Testing, one, two. Y'all hear me down there? Y'all having a good night out there? Y'all having a good time out there? Still under caution. The G1 of Nick Gibson getting worked on out there in turn number three. I got a, I got a special guest up here with me. I got my 10-year-old daughter making her trip out here to the mighty Midway Speedway. She looked at me this morning and said, Daddy, I want to go racing. And she had something to say about the concession stand. Now, now, Tegan, what did you say about the cheeseburgers here? They were the, the what? The best and not the Springfield cheeseburger. You heard it from her, the mouth of a 10-year-old. Midway Speedway's got the best racetrack cheeseburgers around. I can confirm. Oh, looking to go back green, a flag of race, and Brown's going to be your race leader, Welsh, Meyer, Gibson, row number two. Here we come. Back to green flag race, and here with your power eye, super stocks. And a turn number one, Welsh, Meyer going to come up the speedway. Man, Chris Kircher cannot catch a break as he's sitting there in the last position, going to drive it hard underneath Spencer right there. Gibson a little squirrely again there and turns number four. Gonna drive it to the end field. Looks like he just might park it there. Here comes Brown down the back stretch. Caution flag gonna come out. Oh, the G1 of Nick Gibson gonna bring out the Joker welding caution as he ramped it on into the infield. Dukes of Hazard style. Lots of money on the line for these drivers tonight. Everyone trying to start towards the front of the field. As we get ready to go back to green, 
Lag racing this next time by. Lights are going to go off. It's been the Derek Brown show as of early. Ah, oh, here comes the field working through turn number three, looking for the green flag at a turn number four. Here we are back under racing conditions. Derek Brown gonna lead him on a beautiful restart right there. Spencer on the high side, Welshmeyer again bobbles it. Here comes Kircher, the 29K. Getting a good run here to the inside. Welshmeyer and him are gonna bump and tag as it's gonna be three wide out of turn number four. Derek Brown says, y'all battle it, I'm out of here. Kircher up to second. Down out of turn number two, though. Derek Brown's going to be in the middle of the back stretch. Is here comes a three wide battles. Walshmeyer trying to stick his nose in between Spencer and Gibson. Slicing and dicing right there in the back of the field. Brown's checking out. Chris Kircher there in the 29K having a good run here again tonight after slicing and dicing here early in heat race action. Heat race number two. Brown at a turn number four. Going to lead another one. Laps are ticking down. Derek Brown down the back stretch. Kircher trying to find a different lane here on the speedway. Welshmeyer going to get around. Spencer going to slide. Job. Spencer going to cross over down the back stretch. Got a little bump and run action going there. Welshmeyer going to slide up the speedway. Good battle here for third. As they are side by side, Welshmeyer going to hold on to that third place spot. Spencer going to slide up underneath him. Nothing doing. Gibson trying to find a run. But coming out of turn number four, Doctor's Jacket in the air for the 11 of downtown Derek Brown. And a turn one and two for the final time. Down the back chute, I'm getting glared out by my daughter. Don't know why, we're just gonna roll with it. In the three, coming out of turn number four for the final time, heat race action, the 11 of Derek Brown. All right, race fans. The top four drivers that were the top four finishers last night are going to come out here and run a five-lap dash. How they finish is how they're going to start tonight's main event in the first two rows. Starting on the pole in the 26M is going to be Donnie Miller on his outside, the 45 of Aaron Poe. Row number two on the inside is going to be the 164 of Michael Muskrat on his outside, the 67 of Devin Irvin. Five lap dash. How are they going to start tonight's main event? Coming at a turn number four, five laps to determine it. Here they come. Miller going to turn an early race lead. Poe going to try to cross him over. Muskrat up in Irvin here. Here we go. They're going to go down the max chute. It's going to be Miller, Poe, Irvin, and Muskrat. Going to be one, two, three, and four right now. Remember, all these drivers have already qualified for tonight. This is how they are going to qualify and where they're going to start. Miller right now, your race leader. Poe has got a fast car tonight, race fans. He's to that back bumper of Donnie Miller just about every time. What is on my hat, child? What'd you do? Out of turn number four, Donnie Miller going to do it again. Laps ticking down on this one down the back stretch. Miller still going to be a race leader. Irvin Muskrat third and fourth. Poe sitting in that second spot. Poe's got a good corner entry right there through three and four. Miller going to be your race leader right now at a turn number two. Here comes Poe. Had a little bit of momentum there. A little bit of a bobble. Here comes Muskrat trying to look to the back bumper of Irvin. Wide flag and Keith Foreman's hand as he's getting ready to drop the doctor's jacket. One to go. Is this how they're going to finish up? How they're going to start for tonight? Down the back stretch for the final time. Is you're going to be your first row, Donnie Miller and Aaron Poe. And the turns three and four for the final time. Your pole center for tonight's feature event, the 26 of Donnie Miller. Aaron Poe on his outside. Inside row number two is going to be the 67 of Devin Irvin. And on his outside is going to be the 164 of Michael Muskrat.
All right, it's time for a little bit of a modified action here at the mighty midway speed away. $1,500 to win. Joker Welding's got a $100 AMOD Hard Charger Award on docket for these guys. Here's how he race number one's gonna line up. Starting on the pole in the 38th C is gonna be Jason Persley. On his outside, the 14L of Dustin Walker. Row number two, starting on the inside in the 12D is gonna be Trevor Drake. And on his outside, the T10 of Tyler Brown. Lights are off, looking to go green, a flag racing here at the mighty Midway Speedway. Fall brawl night number two. Hey, I got any Mizzou fans out there? How about that football game today? <laughs> ah, go Kansas. Ah, oh, that a turn number four, looking for the green flag, and here they come, a mod style. Trevor Drake to an early race lead. Here comes Percy right back underneath him down the back chute. They're going to go man, they're fast. And through turn number three, out of turn number four, side by side. Percy going to edge Drake here on lap number one. Going through turn here comes Drake to the back bumper. And Percy, they're going to go. As Tyler Brown holding off. 14L of Dustin Walker there running third and fourth. Out of turn number four, Percy still going to be your race leader. Drake in tow coming down into turn number one. Yeah, it's gonna be another one for the, oh, caution on the speedway. Dustin Walker going around in turn number two. Persley and Drake are fast here early. Getting ready to rock and roll. Here they come, the green flag out of turn number four. Thank you for watching on Facebook. Live looking, and those of you watching on ShowMeNerd.tv is Trevor Drake trying to rip the rail. Personally gonna drive hard out of turn number two. Boom, slingshot engaged into turn number three. He's gonna go with a good couple car like lead. Drake's gonna drive it back hard on him, get, try to get there. That personally is a quick one though. They're in the 38P, 38C, sorry. Down the back chute, he's going to go. Your race leader is a fall single file around the speedway right now. Out of turn number four, personally, your race leader, Drake. Brown and Walker's how the field is rounded out. Out here at the mighty Midway Speedway, 11 to Missouri, fall brawl 2022. Night number two, it's the big money night. Pursley gonna lead another lap. Trevor Drake trying to find different lines as he's getting close to the back bumper there. Pursley down out of turn number two. Pursley is so fast out of corners. Drake catches him, but then Pursley's got so much drive out. He's, I mean, just hear that thing rip, race fans. That's a good one. Coming out of turn number two down the back stretch has been the Pursley and Drake show. Personally with the win, Drake in second. Sorry about that. Had some breaking information. Race fans, if you own a maroon Ford Focus license plate RJOC9N, your lights are on. Again, that's a maroon Ford Focus license plate RJOC9N, your lights are on. As we get ready for heat race number two here for your AIM mods. 
Eight laps going to be the distance. Starting on the pole from Hayesville, Kansas, Tyler Davis. On his outside, the 18-year-old stunner, the 7X of Dylan McCowan. Row number two, starting on the inside, is going to be the 73 of Mickey Burrell. On his outside, the 155 of Terry Kirk. One and two in the national standings right there at a turn number four. Here they come. Ah, the Hayesville, Kansas native out there. Dave's going to take a race lead, but here comes McCowan on the crossover move down the back stretch. Davis says, I will have none of the young fella going to drive it hard into through three and four out of turn number four. Goes to the Kansas kid. And a one and two. Man, what one we have going on right here. The 65 flat around the speedway. Different paint scheme, though, that's for sure. As they're going to slide through three and four. McCowan going to rip the lip right now, but it's still the Hayesville, Kansas. Five and a half hour haul just south of Wichita, Kansas. My goodness, what an absolute race we got going on. McCowan to the low side of the speedway, trying to see if there's something down here. Here comes the 73 here, Mickey Burl, trying to find something around to get around that Terry Kirk and the 155. Man, that is a slick looking scheme on that ride. As it's all been the Kansas show right now there, the 65 of Tyler Davis. Down the back stretch, he's gonna take them. Hayesville, Kansas got a pretty good high school football team too, if I recall. As right now, Dylan McCowan trying to reel him in, but man, the 65 is gone. Terry Kirk right there out of your band of Missouri. Got a battle here, comes Mickey Burl out of Fairgrove, side by side, battle for third is there. What a battle we got going on between Kirk and Burl. Laps ticking down, now the back shoot. Your race leader's gonna go, but man, that battle for third place still there, Kirk Burl. It's nice and nice and a one, two, go for your race leader, Tyler Davis. As we got a little bit of crossover move action going on here, but down the back stretch for the final time. Oh, heartbreak hotel for the 155 of Terry Kirk going around. Checkered flag for the 65 of Tyler Davis. Dylan McCowan and Mickey Burrell gonna be your top three with Terry Kirk spinning there in turn number one. All right, race fans, it's time for your McAdoodles Power Eye Pure Stock He Races. Four drivers have already knocked it in to their feature. So here's Heat Race number one, and here's how they're going to line up. Starting on the pole in the 23 is going to be Mark Simon. On his outside, the 7G of Shannon Geller. Row number two, starting on the inside, is going to be 8K of Tyler Knudsen. On his outside, the 41 of Derek Brown. Row number three, starting on the inside, is going to be the 32 of Richard Adams on his outside. A big apology to you for Shane Haley. I butchered your name all night long last night. My bad, buddy. And row number four, starting on the inside, is going to be the 1K of Brandon Knudsen on his outside, the 5 of Jacob White. Goodness, look out of turn number two. Here comes the AK Tyler Knust and Mark Simon got a little squirrely. Here comes Richard Adams there in the 32 machine. Oh, man, Tyler Knust into the race lead here, lap number one. Adams and Derek Brown going to be your top three. Simon off the pace and off the speedway. 
into turns three and four. It's Tyler Knudsen, Richard Adams, and Derek Brown going to be your top three right now. Brandon Knudsen working up in there at fourth spot as they fly around the mighty Midway Speedway. And a turn three and a four. Your race car drivers right here, the Macanoodles Power Eye Pure Stock. He race number one, slicing and dicing through the field. It's Tyler Knudsen, your race leader. Again, no stranger to the front row. Here comes Derek Brown trying to get to the inside of the 32 of Richard Adams. Trying to find something going on there. Richard Adams busted a transmission last night in hot laps. Look, he's got another one, and he's out here racing tonight. Wants a chance at that $2,000 payday. But it's all the Tyler Canoose to show. Adams all over that back bumper with a little bit of a bobble. Here comes Brown to the inside of Adams. We're going to have a position swap down the back stretch. Going to race him hard into turn number three. Uh, and a turn number four. Brown's got a good run here on the inside. New second place car going to be the 41 of Derek Brown. It's still the 8K of Tyler Knudsen going to be your race leader down the back chute. He's going to lead it. My goodness, race fans, we got an electrifying night tonight. And the turn number four, Tyler Knudsen going to be your race leader. A one to go. Doctor's jacket in the air. And a three. Coming out of turn number four for the final time here in heat race number one, the AK, Tyler Knudsen, Derek Brown, and Richard Adams going to be your top three. All right, your McAdoodles Power Eye. Pure stock heat race number two going to line up like this. Starting on the pole in the 17, Austin Wilson on his outside, the 40 of Akola Harris. Row number two, starting on the inside, is going to be the 20X of Colson Kirk on his outside, the 714 of Dustin Isaacs. Row number two, or three, sorry, starting on the inside is going to be the 21 of Darren Porter on his outside, the 057 of Sheldon Roberts. Row number four, starting on the inside in the 92M, the mullet man, Michael McKnight. On his outside, the 14 of Jonathan Finley. And starting shotgun tonight in row number five in the six, Corey Henson. Hey, down the front stretch, Austin Wilson gonna get a great start here. The 40 of McCullough Harris right there, back to his back bumper. Here comes the 714 of Isaacs down the back stretch. Gonna be running in that third spot right now here, early race in action. Austin Wilson gonna be your race leader at a turn. Number four, flying V formation on Wilson Isaacs. Groniger Harris gonna be your top four right now. Here comes the 92 and Michael McKnight to the inside of Porter. As they slice around the speedway, McNicola Harris a little squirrely out of turn number four. McKnight up to that fourth spot. And out of turn number four, it's still gonna be the 17 of Austin Wilson. Groniger having a good run to the inside of Isaacs here. He got a run for that second spot. Wilson checking up. Here comes the field. Going to be a three-wide car battle for the race lead into turn number three. Wilson, the man in the middle. Isaacs going to power move on the high side. New race leader to the 714 of Dustin Isaacs. Oh, I'm going to lose my voice. Carson Groniger sitting there in that second spot. Now here comes the mullet man, Michael McKnight. In the turn number three, they're gonna go, he's in the inside of Austin Wilson, got a good run going on. Oh, contact there between Austin Wilson and Michael McKnight. A little bit of tire hopping, here comes McKnight, Wilson off the pace. 
Caution on the speedway. Is the Joker a welding caution going to come out? The 17 of Austin Wilson. Your pull setter is going to pull off the track. Dustin Isaac's going to be our race leader. Carson Groniger there in the 21X in second. Michael McKnight. Michael McKnight's got a flat right front. And that's a, got no drive off there. As he's gonna take it pit side. Tar break hotel for McKnight was on a rail. But here comes Isaacs down the back stretch. Groninger all over his back bumper. Corey Henson right there in the six machine. Out of turn number four, Groniker to the race lead. Carson, oh sorry, that's not Carson Groniker. My goodness, that's Colson Kirk. I'm so used to seeing Groniker in that car, but I've been calling it wrong all night long. That doctor's jacket in the air. When you go off cars and don't go off your nose, folks, that's what happens, but Colson Kirk, down. The back shoot's gonna go rocking and rolling into turns number three. Coming out of turn number four. Checkered flag gonna be in the air for the 21X of Colson Kirk, Dustin Isaacs, and Corey Henson going from ninth to third. All right, race fans, we got our next dash coming out on the track for their starting positions. Remember, race fans, five lap dash gonna determine the first four starting spots. These are their top four cars last night. Here's how they're gonna line up for tonight's dash. Starting on the pole in the L34, James Reedus. On his outside, the 57D, Dalton Roberts. Row number two, starting on the inside is gonna be the 5M of Dustin McDowell. On his outside, the 42 of Trevor Ellingson. James Reed is last night's feature winner. Trevor Ellingson was last night's hard charger, courtesy of Show Me Dirt. $100 cash for him. Here they come at a turn number four, green flag. Here they come. James Reed is your race leader. Dalton Romer sliding up here. Comes your hard charger there, the 42 of Trevor Ellingson. Justin McDowell getting around there as they shuffle one, two, three, and four out of turn number four. James Reed is going to be your race leader. Out of turn number four, it's all been James Reedus, but man, look at the battle we got back behind him. Ellingson, Roberts, and McDowell all are gonna start in the front two row. Roberts just decided to turn right all of a sudden. And they fall down single file, one, two, go for the 34. James Reedus to get that pole spot, he's gonna go. Ellingson, McDowell, Roberts, one, two, three, and four down the back chute. Here comes James Aridas to park it on the front row tonight for a chance at $2,000. Checkered flag, James Aridas. Starting on his outside, the 42 of Trevor Ellingson. Row number two is going to be Justin McDowell on his outside, the 5070 of Dalton Roberts.
All right, Power Eye Midwest Modifies. Row number one, here's how they're gonna line up on the inside pool, the 12 X of Darren Burt on his outside. Cheyenne Bowman of 05. Yep, that's right, taking the 05 of Cheyenne Bowman. Row number two, starting on the inside, the 25 J of Ryan Hargis on his outside, the 4 C of Braden Connor. Row number three, starting on the inside, the 85 of Trent Wynn on his outside, the 7W of Wesley Breedlove. Not seeing the 12X of Darren Burt or the 7W of Wesley Breedlove out there. So right now, Ryan Hargis, Cheyenne Bowman gonna be on row number one here. They come out of turn number four, gonna stop the throttle. Hargis going to go to an early race lead into turn number one and two. Here they come down the back stretch. Cheyenne Bone and Brandon Connor going to be side by side. Cheyenne going to get a good drive here off into turn number three. Hargis and Trent win right now. Going to be one and two. Contact turn number four. Cheyenne Bowman and Connor get collected, and Bo Bowman gets the hard end of the deal. Caution's going to be coming out on the speedway. Middle of turn number four. Going to bring out the Joker welding caution. Testing one, two, testing one, two. Hey, can you all hear me out there tonight? Down in the turns, two down the back stretch here. They come slicing, Dyson Ryan Hargis gonna be your race leader. Trent Wynn gonna try to get to the inside of the speedway out of turn number four. Good battle, Trent Wynn gonna be your race leader. Hargis on the high side trying to find something there. Wynn there in the 85 machine was a pot, spot out last night's feature, finished fifth. Gonna be a, a lock in, but right now the 85 Trent Wynn gonna come around the speedway, your race leader. Hargis right behind him there in the 25 J. Connor Bowman's how it's going to be rounding out. And on a turn number four, still Trent went. Hargis all over the back bumper with him. Down the back stretch, Trent wins, still being your race leader. In to the corner at a turn number four. It's Hargis trying to get a good push there, nothing doing. Trent wins, still your race leader. Oh, here comes Hargis to the inside, a little bit of a bobble at a turn number two. Hargis into turn number three, trying to get the race lead through turn number four. Man, watch this one, Doctor's jacket in the air. Hargis found something to win, trying to find something on the top shelf. Hargis found another gear down the back chute. He's gonna go. Got about a car and a half length lead over the 85. Trent went into turns three. Coming out of turn number four for the final time. Checkered flag for the 25 giant Trent of Ryan Hargis. And the 85 Trent win. Braden Connor and Cheyenne Bowman gonna round down the top four. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Testing, one, two, testing. Can y'all hear me out there tonight?
Midwest Modified Heat Race number two going to line up like this. Starting on the pole. Hill 45, Colt 45, Cheevers on his outside. The 28 of Wesley Briggs. Row number two starting on the inside is going to be the 59T of Austin Treadway on his outside. The 25 of Billy Jones. Row number three starting on the inside is going to be the 81 of Elijah Keeper on his outside. The 83N of James Newell. How are we all doing out there? Fall ball night number two. Green flag in the air down the back stretch. They're going to rock in the turn number two. They're going to rock and roll. Sorry. I'll get it figured out whatever direction I'm going to get doing. All right, we still got you guys rocking and rolling on the live Facebook looking at showmeter.tv. I lost sound in the PA booth, so we're just going to keep winging it. Oh, a little bit of a bobble by Colt Cheevers, who was in Heartbreak Hotel last night. Through the line to the line, Briggs, Treadway. Down the back stretch, Colt Cheevers, Wesley Briggs, Treadway, Elijah Keeper, all right there, trying to rock and roll the track. And it's, oh, Colt Cheevers missing a spot right there. They're going to drive it back to the lead. Holy smokes, the 45. Man. Here they come into turn number three. Look, throw a blanket over your top four drivers race fans. Look at this. How about this? Elijah Caper to the race lead. The 81 machine, Treadway Briggs. And two, three, and four, my goodness. Here comes Treadway to the inside of Keepers. They slice and dice around this field. And to turn a number three, it's all been the top four of this one. As they rock at it. Turn at number four, rocking and rolling through the night. Saturday night style, Briggs is going to spin and turn number one. And he's going to stay there. Hey, my buddy Thomas there with Show Me Dirt. Hey, buddy, are you still picking up my voice? All right. Apparently, is the PA picking me up? Because I don't think the PA is picking me up. Elijah Keeper going to be your race leader. Austin Treadway, Colt Cheevers, James Newell, Billy Jones. Wesley Briggs, green flag back in the air. Here they come, rocking and rolling into turn number one. Colt Shavers. Lots of issues with Colt Shavers' car tonight. The 45 machine has no corner entry. As fast as he was approaching that wall, had me a little concerned bringing it out the Joker welding caution flag. The rocking and rolling wet. Slee Briggs there right in front of Cheevers. Elijah Keeper going to be your race leader. Elijah Keeper, Austin Treadway, James Newell right now, your top three.
tough break for Colt Cheever's path. Past couple nights here, he's had a rough weekend here, the 45 Colt Cheevers. At a turn number four, green flag in the air. We're back to race in action. Keepers to your race leader, Treadway Jones. Down the back shoot, they're going to go. Elijah Keeper going to tiptoe through the tulips. In a turn number three, all by his lonesome. And a turn number four, Doctor's Jacket's going to wave. Here they come. One to go for the 81, Elijah Keeper. Down the back shoot into turn number two. He's going to go rocking and rolling by his lonesome. Into turn number three for the final time. Coming out of turn number four. Gonna see the checkered flag for the 81 of Elijah Keeper. Austin Treadway and James Newell there in the 82, 83 in. Gonna be how the field's gonna round out. Hey, your Norris logging power eye Midwest modified heat race number three is gonna line up like this. Starting on the pole in the 15R, Oakley Ragland. On his outside, the 48 is Zach Cheever. Row number two, starting on the inside, is going to be the 59 of Rob Muhlenberg. On his outside, the four of Caleb Rhodes. Row, row number three on the inside is going to be the E1 of Dean Bell. On his outside, the 68 of Tyson Moore. A little bit of technical difficulties on our side up here. We're still live and rocking and rolling on showmedirt.tv. You race fans, if I go dead air, that's I'm trying to work on it so the fans here in the stands can hear everything. Out of turn number four right now, your race leader going to be the 59 of Rob Muhlenberg. Oakley Raglan having a good run here right now. As he's at the back bumper of Muhlenberg, Slotnys and Nyson. A lot better handling there for the 15R than last night. As they come out of turn number four, it's going to be another one for the 59 of Rob Muhlenberg. Raglan in the E1 of Dean Bell. Going to be your top three right now on the speedway. Turn number four, Muhlenberg still going to be a race leader. Raglan trying to hold off a charging Dean Bell, slicing and dicing. Doctor's jacket in the air, one to go. Out of turn number two, the 59, Rob Muhlenberg's going to take it down the max trench for the final time. Bell's going to get around Raglan for that second spot. And out of turn number four, checkered flag going to be coming into the air. Rob Muhlenberg, Dean Bell, and Oakley Raglan going to be your top three.
Race fans watching online, this is the dash of Campbell, Newell, Ferreira, and Richardson. The top four. This is going to determine their starting position, so pay attention. I'm going to try to get the PA fixed. Turn number two, here it comes. Newell gonna be a race leader. Hey, I think I'm back. All right, down the back stretch and a turn number two. J.C. Newell there in the 84, Ferreira in second. Remember, this is going to determine the starting spots. Ferreira there in the second spot. Catfish, Campbell, and Richardson going to duke it out. Hey, I can hear the echo of my voice. Doctor's jacket in the air. J.C. Newell going to be a race leader, Ferreira. Campbell Richardson, this is again going to determine starting spots for the top four of the first two rows. Oh, Petey Richardson into the infield tractor tire. He's going to start outside row number two and starting on the pole, the 84 of J.C. Newell. Ferreira on his outside. Campbell on the inside of row number two. Richardson on the outside of row number two. All right, US Sorry Stock Car action. Here's how they're going to line up here. Race number one. Starting on the pole in the 83, James Ellis on his outside, the 11B of Derek Brown. Row number two on the inside is going to be the 23 of Mark Simon, or the 9 of Mark Simon, on his outside, the 12 of Christopher Sawyer. Row number three on the inside is going to be the 21P of Darren Phillips on his outside, the 41 of Brian White, and starting shotgun, the 50 of Daryl Hurt. Oh, Simon. Oh, good. Good. Wow. I don't even know what to say right there.
All right, race fans, we're going to get ready to roll back to green. A flag race in action. Rocking and rolling here tonight. Looking for the green flag out of turn number four. Here they come down the front stretch. And to turn number one, Ellis is going to be a race leader. Slicing and dicing right now, bumping and banging. Oh, making some contact, losing a bumper. Simon going to be your race leader. Sawyer. That ain't no joke. Ronnie just said it's rush hour time on I-44. Oh, they're slicing and dicing. Man, good bump and run here. The 12 of Chris Sawyer having a good solid run right now. But right now, your race leader, the 9 of Mark Simon. Going to be your race leader, the 21 team. Darren Phillips right there in that third spot, battling it out with the 41 of Brian White. Down the back shoot, they're going to go. Here comes White to the high side. Got a cluster of five cars right there. Mark Simon going to lead another one. Almost into the wall went the 11 of Derek Brown who's had a rough night as he has started on the front row and shuffled to the back. But Mark Simon right now gonna be a race leader. Chris Sawyer here having a good run, was a spot out, but here comes Brian White trying to race his way into the night's main event as they go rocking and rolling around the mighty midway speedway here. Fall Brawl 2022, night number two. Big money on the line here. $1,000 is going to be on the line for the, these guys later tonight as they shuffle down the back stretch. One, two, and three is going to be Simon, Sawyer, and White. But White going to do a little bit of high side hustling down there out of turn number four. Oh, look at turn number four. A lot of bumping and banging. Here comes the 50 of Daryl Hurt. Three wide in the turns. One and two. Brown to the high side. Darren Phillips in the middle. Hurt down the low side of the speedway. My goodness, doctor's jackets in the air. Mark Simon is your race leader. Here comes Christopher Sword to the inside. Brian White right there in third. I don't even know where to look right now. Out of turn number four. Checkered flag going to go in the air for the night of Mark Simon. Chris Sawyer, Brian White going to be your top three. USRA Stock Car Heat Race number two brought to you by Eagle Machine. Going to line up like this, starting on the pole, the 75 of Dylan Keeper on his outside, the 116 of Zach Smith. Row number two, starting on the inside, is going to be the 11 of Waylon Dimmitt on his outside, the 5 of Robert White. Row number three on the inside will be the OF of Mason Beck on his outside, the high side hustler himself of the 85H, Mike Haleman. And starting shotgun tonight and the 7 of William Garner. Big contact there in turn number one, Mason Peck. Getting in there with Waylon Dimmitt, and there is debris all over the place. Well, gonna bring out the Joker welding caution tonight. Here we're gonna watch the Midwest Sheet Metal Instant Replay. As they were coming into turn number one, Let, uh, Thomas, can I see that one more time? I'm going to watch it again here on the Midwest Sheet Metal Instant Replay on showmedirt.tv as they were bumping and banging. And it looks like... Huh. That's, it's happened so fast. The Your leaders made contact.
All right, we're going to get them rocking and rolling. Going to get them lined back up here. Dylan Keeper and Zach Smith there on row number one. Field looks good. Track looks phenomenal. We're looking to go green flag racing. And those of you that got involved with that 50-50 drawing, after this race, get those red tickets out because I got the winning number. Getting ready to rock and roll. Dylan Keeper, Zach Smith. Zach Smith had a <coughs> rough night last night. They're on the outside of row number two. Here they come out of turn number four. We're to rock and roll. Green new flag. USRA Sakar Eagle Machine brought to you by Midway Speedway into turn number one. Oh, all over the back bumper keeper. Here comes OF Mason, the hypnotist Beck. Slicing and dicing eight. He's going to go to the race lead out of turn number four, but who's it going to be? Mason back going to drive himself to the race lead. Keeper and Smith going to be your top three lap number one. The high side hustler himself, Hailman already ripping the lip. Here's Robert White on the high side right in front of him. Pushing the cushion early here in heat race action out of turn number four. It's all going to be Mason Beck right now. And Keeper going to follow in tow. Watch that 85H right there. That man gets to the high side early as they're going to fall down the back stretch. Here comes Waylon Dimmitt trying to get a good run here. White going to push up the speedway right now, but it's still going to be Mason Beck, your race leader, as Keeper holding on to the second place with Smith, Garner, and White all right there ready to pounce. Out of the front stretch, back still going to be your race leader. But here it comes Smith to the inside of Keeper. Garner's worked his way up to the back bumper of Smith. They're going to go into turn number three. Keeper going to be the high side of the speedway. Mason Beck still going to be your race leader. As Zach Smith going to move up to that second spot. Here they come. Garner with a little push to the bumper. Says, hey, buddy, here I am. Last night's feature winner, I'm going to do it again. And Mason Beck's just going to drive his Hailman away, trying the cushion. As the field is going to rock and roll out of turn number two, your race leader is going to go into turn number three. We're just going to forget about Mason Beck because he's going to get the white flag out of turn number four. We're going to watch the rest of the field come out of turn number four with Zach Smith. In second, Garner in third. Here comes the 11 of Waylon Dimmitt. They're on the low side of the speedway trying to make a run up to the top four. And a turn number three. Here comes your race leader. And a turn number four for the final time. Checkered flag's going to be for the hypnotist of Mason Beck. But out of turn number four. Here comes the 116. Zach Smith, William Garner going to be your top three. All right, race fans. Let me get them red tickets out. If you did the 50-50 drawing for Buffalo Project Grad, go ahead and get those tickets out because uh, I got the winning ticket. And the winning ticket number is 4028946. 4028946. Right here down at the exit of the speedway, right here under the... Announcer's booth, that's where you're going to go collect your money. $185. Ticket number 
All right, race fans, your J2 USRA B modified heat race number one going to line up like this. On the pole is going to be the 18H of Justin Newman. On his outside, the 11H of Talvin Hayes. Row number two on the inside is going to be the 24 of Jerry Ellis. On his outside, the 55 of Luke Gideon. Row number three on the inside is going to be the 216 of Philip Jackson. On his outside, another Kansas man, the 28Z of the Z man, Randy Zimmerman. And starting shotgun, the 68 of Donnie Betts. All right, race fans looking to go green a flag racing. Green flag in the air here. Okay, come man, Newman got out to a green rocket starting into turn number one. Ellis and Hayes right there battling. Here comes the Z-Man, Randy Zimmerman. Johnny Betts, man, everybody a little squirrely out of turn number two right there. Not sure what was going on there, but here comes your race leader, the 18-H, Justin Newman. Jerry Ellis and the Z-Man, Randy Zimmerman, who was a top three finisher last night. Going to slice and dice his way around the speedway right now. Battle for second. He's got to run on Ellis here for the second spot. And a three and four. Here they come side by side, throttling it down to second. Goes the Fort Scott, Kansas guy, Randy Zimmerman. Going to slide up on Ellis. Ellis going to try to sling shot out of turn number two. Nothing doing there. Your race leader all by his lonesome. There the 18-H. Uh, Justin Newman going to fall one, two, three right now on the speedway. As Philip Jackson, the 216, Luke Gideon. Donnie Bench there in the 68 and the 11-H of Talvin Hayes. Started on the front row, shuffled all the way back. His car's a little squirrely on him. Thanks for watching on Facebook Live and Show Me Dirt TV. As you're watching the J2 race cars, USRA B modified heat race number one. Out here, fall brawl, Lebanon Midway Speedway night number two. As Justin Newman right now is your race leader with Randy the Z-Man Zimmerman coming out of turn number two, trying to run him down there in the second spot. Jerry Ellis in the Jeff Gordon 24 paint scheme machine. Throwing it back old school, love of that scheme, always have. As right now, Newman's going to be your race leader. Zimmerman, Ellis, Gideon, Betts, Hayes, and Phillip Jackson off the pace there in the 216. Going to make it off the speedway out of turn number four. Stomping on the throttle. Dodgers jacket in the air. One to go for the 18 of Justin Newman. And a turn number two down the back stretch for the final time. He race action. He's going to go. And to three, coming out of turn number four. Checkered flag for the 18-H of Justin Newman, Randy Zimmerman, and Jerry Ellis going to be your top three. All right, your J2 cars, USRA B modified here. Race number two going to line up like this. Starting on the pole in the 71C, Cody Crabtree. On his outside, the 42J of Donnie Jackson. Row number two, starting on the inside, the F1 is going to be Mitchell Franklin. On his outside, the 15 of Caden Stacy. Row number three, starting on the inside, is going to be the 39 of Dwight Brown. On his outside, the nine of Sam Petty. Here comes Dwight Brown. He's gonna stack them and pack them tight. Lights are off at the line. Well, he race number two. Cody Crabtree, Donnie Jackson, row number one. Oh, my goodness! Oh, 
okay. That was a little uncalled for. Joker welding caution's gonna come out. Uh, they try to make it four wide in turn number one, and we're gonna watch the Midwest Sheep Metal instant replay. I just gave everybody in the booth a heart attack as we watch Franklin coming in hard and got into Crabtree, and everybody else got collected there. Uh, but um, um, guys, the reason I got a little excited up here before the race started. The Kansas Jayhawks, I know we're in Missouri, but I'm from Kansas. The Kansas Jayhawks just won a Big 12 game. They just beat West Virginia 49-42 to in overtime. So, Rock Chalk Jayhawk, the Jayhawks are 2-0 and for the first time since 2007. I love an underdog story. Who's going to be our underdog tonight? Who is going to be the underdog tonight? My goodness, man, it's going to be a good race here. We go out of turn number four, looking for the green flag. Franklin made the hard right turn to the fit side. King states he's going to have some sheet metal work to do, but he's going to fast. All right, pushing up into Petty again. Must be a little bit of a split spot, but here comes Petty. Oh, man. Well, that's different. Usually it's a two-for-one special with a nine of Sam Petty. Donnie Jackson Jr. going to be flying around the speedway right now on the throttle. Sam Petty to the race lead. Sam Petty, your race leader right now, just checking out. Rocking and rolling right now, the nine. Donnie Jackson, Stacy and Crabtree. My, something is slick right down there. They, they were, um, they turned into uh, synchronized spinners. Tegan, you saw that. What, what what's your thoughts of uh, the spin right there? Crazy. Crazy. You know, for you being my daughter and me liking to talk, you don't like to say a whole heck of a lot. You just smile when somebody talks to you. No, now you're telling me no. You're grounded. I'm, oh, I'm, oh, you're going to tell my mom on me? This is getting out of hand. Right now, Sam Petty's going to be your race leader. Apparently, I just got grounded. All right, a little bit of debris on the track right there. Sam Petty was pointed out, so there comes Midway. Safety crew's going to run down there and get it picked up. All right, that red ticket number of 4028946. 4028946. Go collect your money. Go collect that money, or I'm just saying they can keep it and have a better graduation party. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Down in the turn number one, Sam Penny going to lead the field. Tony Jackson right behind him. Crabtree going to get a good run on the inside of Dwight Brown. Oh, Crabtree a little squirrely out of turn number two. Here comes Caden Stacy trying to get back to the front of the speed. We're going to rip the lip on the high side. Going to test it out up there. Petty and Jackson one and two right now. Dwight Brown leading the flying V.
Sam Petty still going to be your race leader right now as they come down into turn one and two. Dwight Brown running a good run right here, holding off Crabtree and Stacy as they are all over the back bumper of that 39 machine running for third. Sam Petty, though, got a good run going on here on the nine machine. Donnie Jackson Jr. there in the 42 machine. Brown going to push up the speedway. Caden Stacy around Crabtree. He's got to run to the inside of Brown. Here comes the 15. Caden stacy has got a good run here into three and four. Battle coming on here as he almost pegs the infield tractor tire, but Stacy up to third. It's all been the Sam Petty show as they rip around the mighty midway speedway here. Fall ball night number two out of turn number four. Though the nine of Sam Petty's going to get that doctor's jacket. Tegan, what's that mean? She can't remember. It means one to go. She'll learn. She's an announcer in progress. And a turn number three, the nine of Sam Petty going to rip it around through turn number four. Checkered flag. Sam Petty going to take home the heat race win. Donnie Jackson Jr. and Caden Stacey going to round out your top three. All right, race fans. He race number three for your J2 USRAB Modifieds. And here's how they're going to line up starting on the pole. The 55K of Colson Kirk on his outside. The 51 of Brian Shutt. Row number two on the inside is going to be the 65 of Chris Jackson on his outside. The 96X of Jeff Hopper. Row number three, starting on the inside, is going to be the 16M of Brian Myers on his outside, the 86 of Jeff Albright. Green flag in the air, he raised number three. Colson Kirk shutting on the high shine here. Comes a 65 of Chris Jackson. And to turn number three, Colson Kirk gonna hug that low shine of the speedway. Jackson gonna get a nose underneath him, nothing doing. Lap number one, go to the 55 of Colson Kirk. Oh, the 51 Brian shut drives right into Jackson. Going to collect the 96F of Jeff Hopper. Hooper, sorry. Chris Jackson got tagged in the left rear there. Bring out the Joker welding caution. We're going to watch the Midwest Sheet Metal Instant Replay right here. The 51 there of Shutt going to come in hard, drive it in hard. And the 96 spun to avoid that one. There you see the 65 of Chris Jackson over there in turn number three in the hot pit as he took a shot there from the 51 of Brian Shutt. So, so I'm looking at the 16 in the Batmobile of Brian Myers, and I had my son this morning convinced that I am the Batman. And his exact words to me was, Dad, you can't be the Batman. Batman has abs. And I said, Aiden, you're not wrong. But Batman also has to have a really good disguise, and I figured no better way to have a disguise than have a big old belly. He still doesn't believe me. He said he wanted to see my bat cave, and I said it's safer for him to not know. So uh, if I can grow abs in the morning, that'd be fantastic. I wonder if Brian Myers will let me borrow the, the, his sail panel. That way I can wrap it around my chest and make a bat suit out of it. I wonder if he'll believe me then. Green of... <laughs> Goal 
Wilson, Kirk, still gonna be a race leader. Chris Jackson not skipping a beat. All over that back bumper. Oh, he's going to the high side. Hustle at a turn number four. Chris Jackson trying to find something up top. Colson Kirk not giving an inch on the bottom. Jeff Hooper there on the fly at V. Here comes Brian Myers there in the Batmobile. Two by two battling. Oh, Myers going to go spinning around there in three and four. And I don't know how he didn't collect anybody else. As your Joker welding caution is going to come out. The Joker welding caution coming out as the Batmobile there is going around. Looks like the Joker got him. Track is cleared, lights are off, we'll go back green, flag racing. Colson Kirk, Chris Jackson on the top side, he liked it there for a minute, here we come. What's the 65 gonna do? Colson Kirk will lead him into turn number one. Jackson holding on for dear life, here comes Hooper. Albright right there as well. Everyone's got their hands full, what a stacked field of cards we have rocking with us tonight. Colson Kirk on a mission. Chris Jackson trying to get back to the low side. Hooper right there as well. Who's going to get it? Jackson drives over the front end. Oh my goodness, we got a good one going on here, race fans. Slicing, dicing, everything nice. And Colson Kirk right now, your race leader, Chris Jackson. Jeff Hooper, Jeff Albright, Brian Myers, Brian Shutt. Everyone's got the same name in this heat race. And the turn number three. White flag in the air, Colson Kirk gonna be your race leader. Chris Jackson, here comes Jeff Albright to the inside of Hooper. Hooper's gonna spin in front of Myers and shut. Heartbreak hotel for him, checkered flag coming out for Colson Kirk. Chris Jackson, Jeff Albright, Brian Myers, Brian Shutt. As they went rocking and rolling around the speedway. All right, race fans. Gonna line up like this, the Brandon Vino on the inside, on his outside, the 34 of Derek Patton. Daniel Barton on the inside of row number two, then the 93, the 23 of Nick Branch on his outside, and the 3M of Bobby Mooney is how the field's gonna be rocking and rolling right now. And they go into turn number one, Vino and Bradshaw gonna be rocking and rolling down in the back stretch. They're gonna go. Brandon Vino there in the V31, the red rocket, as he's gonna come out of turn number four. Lead lap number one, Daniel Barton there running second, Bradshaw and Patton gonna be rocking and rolling. As they go rocking and rolling down the back stretch, Vino and Barton gonna have about a car a length of the distance uh, between the two. As they come out of turn number four, your USRA tuners right there. He raced number one of two, shaking and baking right now.
Brandon Vino, your race leader, Daniel Barton, on his back bumper, trying to slice and dice right now. Nick Bradshaw, good to see him back out there, having a, had issues when we were packing the track there in the 23 machine. Was the first car out on the speedway to help pack him and died on the max stretch. Good to see him get that machine back under power. As Brandon Vino right now, your race leader, going to rock it around the speedway. Thank you for those watching on showmedirt.tv and watching on the Facebook Live Look-In. Thanks for hanging out with us here on night number two of Fall Brawl 2022 as we are in our USRA tuner. Last lap to go for the V31 of Brandon Vino as they are rocking around the speedway right now into turn number three. Coming into turn number four, we're going to see the checkered flag in the air for the V31 of Brandon Vino. Daniel Barton, Nick Bradshaw, and Derek Patton in the 34 is going to be how they round out heat race number one. All right, your USRA tuner heat race number two going to line up like this on the inside. It's going to be the 41 of Corbin Mooney. On his outside in row number one is going to be the 20 of Tim Day. Row number two, starting on the inside, is going to be the 42 of Gregory Owens. On his outside, the two of Justin Day. Last night was Tim and Justin Day putting on an absolute show. Good, good battle between those two drivers. The, uh, the tuners have $250 added to their purse tonight. It's taken from 2nd to 11th to the added money. $250 is added in a memory of Gary Dunn. If you're out here for the late model show last night, we were talking about the 88G of Josh Dunn. That was his brother that had passed away. They're throwing the money out there in memory of Gary Dunn for these tuners. Out here ripping it up here tonight here in Fall Brawl night number two. But here down the back stretch, lap number one, the 20 of Tim Day. He's going to be your race leader, Justin, to his back bumper. Here comes Corbin Moody trying to find a little something on the high side. The 42 of Gregory Owens going to be running there in fourth. All right, now it's the Day Day Show. They picked up exactly where they left off going down the back chute. Tim Day, Justin Day going to be how they rock and roll into three and four. It's still the Day Day show right now. Tim Day holding off a charging two of Justin Day as they are coming out of turn number four. Laps are ticking down here for your USRA Tuner Heat Race number two. And a turn number four, Doctor's Jacket gonna be coming in the air right now for the 20 of Tim Day. Justin Day all over him, it's reminiscent of last night as they rock and roll. Through the back stretch for the final time into turn number three, Tim Day, Justin Day, sliding through the corners. Checkered flag in the air. Tim Day gonna get the heat race win, Justin Day. Corbin Mooney and Gregory Owens gonna round out your field. All right, race fan, this is going to bring us to our inside the 21W of Ted Welshmeyer on his outside, the 32X of Brad Phillips. Row number six, starting on the inside, is going to be the 30 of Craig Spencer on his outside, the 4X of Krieger Harris. And row number seven, starting on the inside, is going to be the G1 of Nick Gibson on his outside, the 82 of Brandon Hall. These are your cars and star for your Ozark Sporting Goods Power Eye Super Socks.
Get ready to rock and roll here. They come in at turn number $4,000 on the line. Poe with a little crossover move attempt here behind Donnie Miller. They're going to go flying down the back stretch. And two race in action here in the turns three and four. Slicing Dyson right now around the speedway. Poe to the race lead lap. Number one's going to go to the 45. Donnie Miller going to drive it harder in around the outside here. Oh, going to check up. Here comes Moskran Nerve and four wide. Miller got shut out. Miller went from first to fifth in a half a lap. Aaron Poe is going to be your race leader. Muskrat. Derek Brown there in the 11. Sitting in third. They're going to go flying around the speedway down the back chute. And a three coming out of turn. Number four, Brown on the inside of Michael Muskrat. What a race we got going on here with your super stocks. Aaron Poe, Brown to the inside of Muskrat. Still battling there for that second spot. Here comes Derek Brown. Oh, gosh, on the speedway. High in turn number four. That looks like the 82 of Brandon Hall going around there. Well, 45, Aaron Poe going to be your race later. Been on an absolute rail since the drop of the green flag. Derek Brown going to take that high side line here on the Delaware double file restart here. First feature of the night, $1,000 on the line. Here for your Ozarks pretty good power eye super stocks. It was a 15-a-lap main event here. They come into turn number three. Keith up in the flag stand. Going to be doing his rock and roll dance to Beyonce. All the single ladies. And a turn number four. Here they come, race fans. And a turn number one. Aaron Poe's going to take the lead. Now the match stretch. Here comes Muskrat as Brandon Hall is doing his own thing. And a turn number four. Brown's going to be on the high side of the speedway there in the 11 machine. And he's got something for the 45 of Poe. Down the back stretch. Poe there in that beautiful 45 machine. Here comes Poe, Brown, Muskrat, Miller, Irvin. Man, this is going to get good, race fans. It's about to get slicey. It's about to get dicey. Poe and Brown. Brown going to do a little high side shuffling and a cross back over underneath the speedway. Going to run to the inside. He's going to lean nothing. Doing back to the back bumper. He's going to go. Oh, here comes Donnie Miller there in the 26 ride. Going to shake and bang to the inside of Michael Muskrat, who's going to get shuffled back to that fourth spot. Here comes Poe, still your race leader, Derek Brown holding on. Donnie Miller, Michael Muskrat, Irvin. Here comes Chris Kircher. There in the 29K, trying to get something doing here. Heartbreak Hotel for him last night as he got spun out, going to the checkers in the fourth and final. Lock and spot halfway through this one. Hall going to be a lap car. Here comes Brown. Poe's going to use him as a pick. Oh, he drove. Gibson going around there in three and four as Derek Brown was making a run down the back stretch on the 45 of your race leader, Aaron Poe. As he was rocking and rolling around the speedway right there. Your race leader right now, still the 45 of Aaron Poe, Derek Brown, Donnie Miller, Michael Muskrat, and it's going to be Devin Irvin going to be rounding out your top five. A lot of front end damage there to the G1 of a Nick Gibson. The 11's getting the call. Make your, he's going to go to the high side of the speedway.
green a flag back in the air. Aaron Poe gonna lead him down into turn number one and two. Here comes Tony Miller to the inside of Derek Brown. Got a good run going on here for the 26 machine last week's feature winner. They're gonna go sliding around the speedway. Miller gonna be your race leader. Or sorry, Poe, but Miller is running it down now. Here comes Ted Welshmeyer on the back side of the 29K and Chris Kircher. Coming out of turn number four, still gonna be Aaron Poe, gonna be your race leader as he's still gonna try to pull away right now. Miller and Brown gonna start duking it out for that second spot. $1,000 still up to be claimed tonight here for this main event, first feature event here. As last night was qualifying nice and normal payouts with hard chargers awarded. Aaron Poe still your race leader. The 45 was fast last night. As down the back stretch here, Leader Aaron Poe's gonna go Kirsch. You're gonna get to the end. Shina Irvin gonna get to that top five. Trying to get to that back bumper, the 164 of Michael Muskrat. Laps are ticking down. There's multiple three car battles, but you want to keep your eye on the top three right now. Brown and Miller gonna be duking it out there for that second spot. They are rocking and rolling as Krieger Harris pulling off the speedway there in the 4X. He's gonna make it off the track. We're staying green for this one down the back stretch. Here comes Aaron Poe. Brown finally got around Donnie Miller. And has held him off to a point where he's got some clean air in front of him. White flag in the air. One to go for the 45 of Aaron Poe. He's going to come out of turn number two for the final time. Don't think Brown's got enough. And to turn number three for the final time. Coming out of turn number four. Stop on it, Aaron another man Aaron Poe Brown and Miller gonna be your top three on that one what an absolute dandy of a feature The 45 of Aaron Poe making his way down to victory lane. Thousand dollar payday for the 45 machine. As he gets ready to climb out of the car. Look how tall those trophies are. My goodness. Down there in victory lane, getting ready to climb out of the car. Midway Speedway. Make some noise for the 45 of Aaron Poe. The trophy is just as tall as the car. Congratulations to Aaron Poe. On a heck of a two-night run there for the 45 machine. As we get ready for our next feature event, we're going to have a little bit of a modified action right here at the mighty Midway Speedway Race fans of $1,500 on the line. Hard Charger Award from Joker Welding going to be $100 to the Hard Charger tonight. On the poll for this one, the 38C of Jason Pursley. On his outside at Hayesville, Kansas, the 65 of Tyler Davis. Row number two, starting on the inside, the 12D of Trevor Drake. On his outside, the young man, the 7X of Dylan McCowan. Row number three, starting on the inside, the 14L of Dustin Walker. On his outside, the 73 of Mickey Burl. Row number four, starting on the inside, is going to be the T10 of Tyler Brown. And on his outside, in the 155, Scary Terry Kerr. All right, 15 laps going to be our distance, $1,500 to the winner, $100 to the hard charger. As we get ready to rock and roll for second feature here tonight, at Midway Fall Brawl 2022. 
I'm having a great night. Race fans, how are you doing out there tonight? Going to be a great night of racing. It's been a great night of racing. I don't want this night to end. Let's, let's do it again. Gonna do a little bit of roll in here, a little bit of slickness on the speedway. Like I said, the 65 Tyler Davis making the haul from Hazelville, Kansas. That's five hours, five and a half hours away from the speedway, just south of Wichita. He said $1,500, I'm in. Let's break it down this way, race fans. It's $100 a lap. $100 a lap. Gonna get it snugged up, gonna get ready to go green. A flag race in action here for your A modified main event here at the Mighty Midway Speedway. You want to talk about a star-studded field, Jason Persley, Tyler Davis, Trevor Drake, Dylan McCowan, Mickey Burrell, Terry Kirk. I mean, just throw a blanket on the whole field right now. It's anybody's game. Looking for the green flag at a turn number four. It's showtime. Down the back stretch into turn number three. First, we're going to go to the early race lead. Here comes the Kansas kids. Tyler Davis on the high side. McCowan, a little bit of trouble. But Davis going to take lap number one. McCowan back on the throttle. Going to get back to that fourth spot. Yeah, slicing and dice. And Dylan McCowan there on the 7X. Going to get around there. But right now, it's on the Hayesville, Kansas native out of turn number four. Going to lead lap number two. $1,500 on the line. Scary Terry back there getting a little squirrely there on the 155. Down the back stretch, though, your race leader is going to be Davis and Persley and Trevor Drake. Right there, your top three. And then Dylan McCowan, they're going to rip the lip on the top side, running fourth. You want to talk about a star instead of top four? There you go, race fans. Single file right now around the mighty midway speedway. Different lines. Here comes Terry Davis there on the 155 machine behind the 14L of Dustin Walker. Trying to get something ripped in. I'm sorry for Thomas Shaw with Show Me Dirt. He's having to go all over the speedway because that's what these cars are doing. All over the speedway, there's everyone to watch. But right now, all by himself, like the chess club president on prom night is your race leader, the 65 of Tyler Davis. Here comes Trevor Drake to the inside of personally. McCowan coming on the high side with him. Oh, we got a battle for a second spot right now. Thomas, we got something to look at here as it's going to be a three-car battle for second. Personally, push up the high side of the speedway. McCowan pushing the cushion. Oh, going to rip the high side. Going to be three wide out of turn number two. Down the back stretch, three wide. Sandwich for Personally Drake on the low side. McCowan on the high side, ripping the cushion. Who says it's not here? McCowan to second. Dylan McCowan, the 18-year-old in the 7X down the back shoot, knows what he's doing. Two-time B modified champion. We got the halfway mark, the 65 of Tyler Davis, still your race leader. Does he have enough time to hold off a charging, and I mean charging, Dylan McCowan there in the 7X. Out of turn number four, Davis going to lead a lather lap, the Hayesville, Kansas. Five and a half hour haul, wanting that $1,500 payday. McCowan in a world of his own, but look at the battle for third between Trevor Drake and Jason Persley. That battle for third, they're still duking it out side by side, and behind them we got a three car pack battling it out. My goodness, where to look? Battles everywhere you look, except McCowan trying to run down your leader, and your leader trying to stay away from McCowan. 
this is when the running back has got a broken open field run and he's looking at the jumbo John trying to find out if the defenders coming to find him. Tyler Davis, the 65, started outside row at number one, never looked back after lap number one. McCowan ripping the lip around the mighty midway speedway. The eye test, McCowan's a little faster that lap, closing the gap a little bit. McCowan still running that high side hustle. Wide flag in the air, Dodgers jacket one to go for the Hayesville, Kansas 65 of Tyler Davis. Down the back shoot, he's gonna go for the final time. Checkers and records, I don't think McKellen's got enough with the seven X to catch him. And a three, coming out of turn number four for the final time, checkered flag, Tyler Davis. Dylan McCowan, Jason Pursley gonna be your top three. My goodness. The 65, Tyler Davis out of Hayesville, Kansas. Saw the payday, said we're going to the mighty Midway. Getting it parked down there in Victory Lane, his first time ever here. Race fans, what do you say? You want to see that 65 of Tyler Davis come back out here? Five and a half hour haul from Hayesville, Kansas, just south of Wichita. And trust me, fans, that is a boring drive. Wow, he might need another trailer for that trophy. Midway Speedway makes some noise for the 65 of Tyler Davis. From one Kansas guy to the next, congratulations, sir. Gonna get that $1,500 payday. Got the whole party going on down there. Drinks on you, right? Ah, hey, he, I got a head nod. <laughs> I'll be down there. <laughs> All right, race fans, our next main event on the docket. Your Maca Doodles Power Eye Pure Stocks. $2,000 on the line for this one. Starting on the pole in the L34 in the station wagon, James Reedus. On his outside, the 42 last night's hard charger, Trevor Ellingson. Row number two, starting on the inside, is going to be the 5M of Justin McDowell. On his outside, the 57D of Dalton Roberts. Row number three, starting on the inside, is going to be 8K of Tyler Knudsen. On his outside, the 21X of Colson Kirk. Row number four, starting on the inside, is going to be the 6 of Corey Henson. On his outside, the 41 of Derek Brown. Row number five, on the inside, is going to be the 714 of Dustin Isaacs. On his outside, the 32 of Richard Adams. Row number six, starting on the inside, is going to be the 1K of Brandon Knudsen. On his outside, the 21 of Darren Porter. Row number seven on the inside is going to be the five of Jacob White on his outside, the 057 of Sheldon Roberts. Row number eight, starting on the inside, is going to be the seven G of Shannon Geller on his outside, the 40 of Akola Harris. Row number nine on the inside is going to be the 17 H of Shane Haley on his outside, the 92 in of the mullet man of Michael McKnight. Row number 10 on the inside is going to be the 23 of Mark Simon on his outside, the 14 of Jonathan Finley. And starting shotgun tonight in row number 11, starting 21st, the 17 of Austin Wilson.
All right, race fans. Hey, when they come around the track this time, here's what I want you to do. I want you to stand and make some noise. Show these drivers you appreciate it. It's going to be a $2,000 dash for the cash. Race fans, they're going to wave at you when they come out of turn number four. I want you to do the same thing. Get on your feet. Come on, race fans. Get up. Give these drivers some appreciation. Give them a wave, race fans, for your Macadoodles Power Eye Pure Socks. All right. All right. All right, race fans, $2,000 on the line right here. One of the biggest pure stock payouts in the region. Here they come through turn number three, race fans. It's showtime. Let them rumble off into turn number two down the back chute. The field's going to go just out of turn number two. As the rest of the field is Redis and the leaders are going to come out of turn number four. You want to talk about stacking them back in deep here? The a quarter mile racetrack here, the mighty midway speedway. They are doing it right now. Redis, your race leader, but look at the battle behind Ellingson with McDowell, Roberts, Knudsen, and Colson Kirk. Almost called him Carson Groniger again. I'm gonna have problems with that one all night. As they come out of turn number four, my goodness, three wide going into turn number one. Colson Kirk, Knudsen, Roberts right there. Oh, rip the lip, Porter on the high side. Got her back underneath here, but right now it's all the 34, James Reedus. Trevor Ellingson right there with him. The five in, Justin McDowell here comes the 8K, Tyler Knudsen. Back in his ride tonight in a turn number three and four. He goes with Roberts Kirk right behind him. My goodness, there's so much battling going on behind your race leader. It's letting Arenas tiptoe through the tulips down into turn number three. The caution on the speedway. The 714 of Dustin Isaacs going around there. Going to bring out the Joker welding caution flag for the first time here in the feature race and here for your McAdoodles. Power Eye Pure Stocks. Hold up, hold up. I think I think this modified got lost. He had an identity crisis. Trevor Ellingson getting the call to pick. That's uh, He's going to pick the low side of the speedway on the Delaware double file restart. Everyone else is going to feel in behind him. race fans y'all are getting rowdy with me tonight am, am i am i saying are you telling me that Derek brown is going to come for the win and that's what you're telling me you're telling me james reed is going to get the win all right we got a rivalry going down here on the front stretch with the fans <laughs> me no only water my friend oh you're gonna miss it they're coming back to green 
Back to green flag action here, the mighty middle way All right, James Reed to steal your race later. Here comes Colson Kirk there in the 21X, having a good run there. Right behind the five of Justin McDowell right now is how they're going to go around the speedway. Not seeing a whole lot of cars wanting to jump to the high side right now. The cushion's there here. Comes Brandon Knutson. He's going to try it there in the 1K. Here comes Colson Kirk there in the 21X trying to get around. Derek Brown, good battle for third going on right there. But hey, look at this race fans. Look at the 92, Michael McKnight trying to slice up through this field. Pushing it three wide halfway through. James Reedus has been in charge from the drop of go. Down the back chute, he's gonna go. McDowell still holding on to that second spot. Derek Brown, Colson Kirk, Tyler Canoose caution on the speedway. Oh, the infield tractor tire. Uh, infield tractor tire was trying to get in on the action. Lots of cars on the track right now. as they figure out which tire to push back. James Renus, Justin McDowell, Derek Brown, Colson Kirk, Tyler Knudsen, your top five. All right, yeah, the 41, Derek Brown. The 40 of Akola Harris there having some fluid leaking onto the track, getting called to go pit side. Tough break for the 40. His night looks to be done. All right, getting them stacked. In fact, ready to go back green flag race in action. Halfway home, eight laps in the books. Lights are gonna go off. I'm gonna go back to green flag race in action. Pick your driver, who's it gonna be? I see Derek Brown, I see James Reedus. Is there any, is there any McDowell fans out there? What about Trevor Ellingson? What about Tyler Knudsen? Oh, it's going to get good. That's why I love the Mighty Midway Speedway here. Fall Brawl night number two, $2,000 on the line, halfway mark. Corey Henson off the power up into turn number one. Oh, oh, five, seven, the 057 Sheldon Roberts. Oh, man, up in smoke like Cheech and Chong. We got a drive shaft in the middle of the track right here by the flag stand. Hey, that's drive shaft number two on the night. So you're. 
right here off the uh, little flag stand, we got the drive shaft. Now, I believe that was going to be the six of Corey Hinton that lost the drive shaft as the 057 of Sheldon Roberts up in smoke like Cheech and Chong. Right now, it's been the James Rita show. McDowell trying to reel him in there. Derek Brown there in the 41s have been coming up. Started at eighth, running in third right now. They're going to roll through. That moisture as we're getting these guys pushed off the speedway. Tough break for Sheldon Roberts there, and also the six of Corey Henson there. Rolling in that moisture that came out of the 50, 057 of Sheldon Roberts. We're going to single file him around again. Going to try to roll in this moisture. One more car to watch, the 92M of the moment. Man, Michael McKnight started 18th up to 12th. He's been battling three wide traffic all night to move up those spots. Still at the halfway point here. But Michael McKnight having a solid run as well, trying to make his way. He's right behind the 23 of Mark Simon. Good, good sack of your McAdoodles Power Eye Pure Stocks on hand with us tonight. Started 21. The we Those of you watching on showmedirt.tv, it's probably a good time to grab the popcorn because you're going to need a lot for this last handful of laps. Those of you out here watching the grandstands might be a good time to grab that popcorn too because it's going to get good. James Arenas, your race leader. They're going to get Delaware double file restart. There, the 21X Colson Kirk's been having a good run in the 21X of the Carson Kroniker ride as they roll into one and two. Then Moisture got rolled in onto the speedway. Arenas is your race leader. McDowell, Brown, Kirk, Knudsen, that 8K, I'll keep an eye on him. The 41 of Derek Brown. Been running solid there in third. But laughs are starting to tick down. All right, race fans, hold on to the edge of your seats because that's all you're going to need. Lights are going off. We're going to go back to green flag racing action. And when they turn into turn number three, I'm going to shut the mic off and I'm going to let you take a lap of bliss of nothing but horsepower. Enjoy.
Three laps of uninterrupted pure horsepower. James Reed is still your race leader. Derek Brown to the high side of McDowell through turns through one and two. Good run here. Brown trying to find that cushion on the high side of the speedway. Reed is doing a little bit of catfish and trying to run away from these guys. And the one and two, your field's gonna go. Laps ticking down in this one. Mark Simon pushing his way up. Here comes the 23 machine, pushing his way up through the field, but time is running out. James Reed is your race leader, but look at the battle behind him. Derek Brown to second. Oh, Tyler Canusa gonna get, get to the high side of the speedway as they race behind him as lap traffic getting ready to become an issue for the 34 of James Reedus. Race fans, doctor's jacket in the air. Can he double up? Feature winner last night gonna go down the back stretch for the final time. The station wagon, the grocery getter, however you wanna put it. Into three, coming out of turn number four for the final time, your 2,000 dollar man, James Reedus. Derek Brown. Derek Brown going to come home in second. Doubling up on the weekend. $2,000 to win. These guys came out and showed out. Tyler Knusen coming home in third. Feature winner last night. Won the dash, put himself on the pole. Helmet is off. Midway speedway. Get ready to make some noise. As James Reedus climbs out of that station wagon, make some noise for the $2,000 man, James Reedus. Congratulations there to James Reedus on doubling it up. Two for two this weekend here at the mighty Midway Speedway right there in the 34 machine. Getting ready for our next feature event, your J2 Cars USRA B modified main event. And here's how they're going to line up. Starting on the pole, the number nine is going to be Sam Petty. On his outside in the 28Z, the Z-Man, Randy Zimmerman. Row number two, starting on the inside, is going to be the 18H of Justin Newman. On his outside, the 55K of Colson Kirk. Row number three, starting on the inside in position number five, is going to be the 65 of Chris Jackson. On his outside, the 86 of Jeff Albright. Row number four is... Sorry, row number four, starting on the inside of the 42J, is going to be Johnny Jackson on his outside, the 15 of Caden Stacy. Row number five, starting on the inside, the 24 of Jerry Ellis on his outside, the 39 of Dwight Brown. Row number six, starting on the inside, the Batman, the Batmobile, the 16M of Brian Myers on his outside, and the double nickel, the 55, Luke Gideon. Row number seven, starting on the inside, is going to be the 68 of Donnie Betts on his outside, the 71 of Cody Crabtree. Row number eight, starting on the inside, is going to be the 51 of Brian Shutt on his outside, the 11H of Talvin Hayes. Row number nine, starting 
On the inside, position 17 in the 96S is going to be Jeff Hooper on his outside, the 216 of Philip Jackson. And starting shotgun row number 10, position 19, got his car fixed, going to be the F1 of Mitchell Franklin. 65 is what you're calling for? You're, you're calling for the 54? Nine? You're go oh, you're going for Sam Petty, and you're going for Chris Jackson. Who else is – okay, you got Colson Kirk. Okay. race fans those of you that spend your time here at the mighty middleway speedway inside row number three is the 65 of chris jackson you know that man can wheel it last night's feature winner started from the pole lapped half the field he's got some fast cars in front of him sam petty's been looking fast last night the z-man of randy zimmerman finished third Justin Newman, a couple weeks ago, grabbed a feature win holding off Chris Jackson. When the high side came in, Chris got there late. You believe what you want, but that 55K of Colson Kirk's been fast this year. And one I've never slept on in my time announcing down to Springfield Raceway is the 15 of Caden Stacy. All right, 15 laps, $1,500 on the line, $100 on a lap. 19 cars on the speedway as they're going to get stacked and packed down the back row. Here they come, Sam Petty, Randy Zimmerman, row number one. Into turn number three, green flag, it's showtime! Lab number one's gonna go to the nine of Sam Petty, but here comes the Z-Man Zimmerman on the high side. Chris Jackson underneath them, three wide for the race lead down the back stretch. Zimmerman Jackson right now gonna be racing for the lead code three and four. The Z-Man on the high side of the speedway out of Fort Scott, Kansas. Race lead goes to the 65 of Chris Jackson. Zimmerman not giving up, man, trying to get back to the back bumper of Chris Jackson. Now the back shoot, they're gonna go. Jackson wasted no time to go to the race lead, but he's still got traffic with him. Down out of turn number four, Chris Jackson, Zimmerman, Petty, Kirk, Newman, your top five. Albright, Jackson, Stacy, right behind them, Dwight Brown, Ellis, Myers, $150 hard charger on the line for the hardest charging car. Out of this main event tonight, Chris Jackson, still holding off a charging Zimmerman. Oh, off a of turn number one caution on the speedway. That's, that's going to be the 68 of Betts going around there. The 55 of Gideon and the 11 H of Telvin Hayes. All worked in there. He's trying to turn around. 
Joker Welder, Kashi gonna come out. That might. I don't know. We got a few laps in the books on that one. Zimmerman got some laps in. Let's uh, let's take a look. Let's see where the Z-Man's gonna pick to go if he goes to the top row or the bottom row. You think he's gonna go up? He's gonna go down. Well, we know when, when Chris does his restarts, he goes real high, then shoots real low off of turn four. So if, if, if I'm sitting in second, I'm gonna go to the high side. Because I'm gonna try to power move by him. Because I'm super fast. Chris Jackson, your race leader. That J2 car, J2 chassis. Zimmerman goes low side, feels like he's faster down there. Colson Kirk going to the high side, doing double duty here for the 55K. Four laps in the books. Oh, man. Might be broken. Green flag back in the air. Colson Kirk there on the high side. Here comes Sam Petty. Oh, caution. Turn number one, Pitts. Oh, my goodness. Philip Jackson, Jerry Ellis, and Brian Myers. Donnie Betts all collected there in turn number one. Ellis able to. My goodness. There we see on the Midwest Sheet Metal instant replay. Thomas, can I see that again? Here we are watching on Show Me Dirt, the Midwest Sheet Metal instant replay. And, oh, Ellis just got in there a little too deep and collected a bunch of cars around him. Tough, tough break for Batman. He's climbing out of his car. Looks like his night's going to be done. The 68 of Donnie Betts heading to the pits. But the 24 of Ellis spun in front of the field right there. And, uh, well, pure pandemonium ensued. Night number two here, fall brawl. Lots of, oh, lots of quarter panel damage there for the nine of Sam Petty. Oh, he had me concerned. I thought he was gonna make a hard right turn. They're, they're going to take a look at the nine of Sam Petty. He's got a lot of damage on the rear, right rear quarter panel of that thing. Chris Jackson is your race leader.
nine. This has been a good dandy one. Rocking and rolling. Lights are off. Look to go back to green flag race in action. Let's see if we can get a lap in. Comes Sam Petty again to the inside of Colson Kirk. Now the Max Trench are going to go slicing and nice. And here comes Newman. He's got a good run there in the 18H. And here comes the Z Man Zimmerman to the high side of the speedway, but still going to be the 65 of Chris Jackson. Zimmerman and Cole going to be switching spots. Three wide with Albright. And here comes Mitchell Franklin working his way up into the top 10. Mitchell Franklin there in the F1 started dead last. Working his way through the field. Zimmerman trying to get to the high side. Colson Kirk trying to get back underneath him. They're racing so hard for each other. Mitchell Franklin has worked up to seventh, starting 18th. Turn number four, cross flags halfway through this one. It's been the Chris Jackson show after lap number one. Zimmerman Kirk putting on a show. The four scout Kansas guy there on the high side of the speedway. Ripping the lip right now as Chris Jackson's being able to pull away. Colson Kirk's got a fast one there in the 55. Oh, down the back stretch, the 11 H of Talvin Hayes. Calvin Haynes right there. That whole front end looks smashed. Tough break for the 11. Angel Talvin Hayes going to bring out the Joker wielding caution flag, but man, that front bumper's almost in the cab. As they're going to bring the tow truck out over, he's going to need a hook to get that thing. No heartbreak hotel there for the 11 inch. He's going to fire it back up and keep going. But look at that bumper. It's pointing straight to the sky. A little protection for the motor. I like it. Going to double him back up. Chris Jackson still your race leader. Zimmerman going to go back to the high side of the speedway. Everyone's going to fall into place. Clark and Zimmerman been putting on a absolute dandy of a battle between the two. Sam Petty's had a fast ride tonight. Newman's had a fast ride tonight, but they have all been so fast that it's been able to get Chris Jackson a chance to tiptoe through the tulips. $1,500 up for grabs. Lights are going to go off. Going to go back to green, a flag, a race in action. Down the back stretch, they're gonna go lights. Are off, watch the F1 of Mitchell Franklin working his way up to that seventh spot from 18th. Green flag, here they come. Oh, shot into Albright. Caden Stacy getting collected up in that one, we're staying green. 
Lots of moving and shaking. Colson, Kirk up to the second spot, gonna rip the lip. The 55's got momentum. But so does Chris Jackson. He's turned so many laps here around the mighty Midway Speedway. He knows it. Here comes Mitchell Franklin to the inside of Sam Cuddy for the top five spot. My man is on a mission. I've never seen the F1 this fast. And to three and four, Chris Jackson, your race leader. Maybe a couple more cautions might help out Mitchell Franklin, but Chris Jackson right now trying to hold off Colson Kirk. Colson Kirk might have jumped the cushion a little bit too there. Laps are ticking down. Franklin up to fourth. Newman trying to drive it back in on him on the top side. Jackson still your race leader. Colson, Kirk, the Z-Man, Zimmerman, Franklin, the fourth. I don't even need a calculator to tell you who the hard charger is tonight. My goodness, Mitchell Franklin started 18th and is sitting fourth. 19th, sorry. I forgot how to count. It's a Kansas thing. White flags in the air, checkers are wreckers. Chris Jackson down the back stretch for the final time. And a turn number three, Colson Kirk gonna try to send it in there, not gonna be enough. $1,500 richer, the 65 of action, Chris Jackson. Colson Kirk and Mitchell Franklin, top three. Chris Jackson going to victory lane, but the $150 hard dollar hard charger winner, and I'm not, uh, I, I don't even think I need to check the books on this one. The F1 of Mitchell Franklin started at 19th and finished third. My goodness, but right now getting ready to climb out of that J2 car down there in a victory lane. Doubling up on the weekend. Midway Speedway makes some noise for the $1,500 man, Chris Jackson. All right, race fans, we're getting ready for our next main event. USRA Stock Cars getting ready to come out for their main event, and here's how they're going to line up for their main event. Starting on the pole, the 0F, the hypnotist, Mason Beck. On his outside, the 23, well, he's going to be the 9, of Mark Simon. Row number 2, starting on the inside, is going to be the 12 of Christopher Sawyer. On his outside, the 7 of William Garner. Row number three, starting on the inside, is going to be the 41 of Brian White. On his outside, the 116 of Zach Smith. Row number four, starting on the inside, is going to be the 50 of Daryl Hurt. On his outside, the five of Robert White. Row number five, starting on the inside, is going to be the 75 of Dylan Keeper. On his outside, the 21P of Darren Phillips. Row number six, starting on the inside, is going to be 11B of Derek Brown. On his outside, the high side hustler, the 85H, Mike Kaleman. Row number seven on the inside is going to be the 83 of James Ellis. On his outside, the 11 of Waylon Dimmitt. Fifteen laps the distance. $1,000 on the line. Hey, I'm gonna ask my daughter a question. Hey, Tegan. 
can I, can I, can I go get buy a car real quick and go race for a thousand dollars to win? She said no. You're calling for the eleven to win it from the back. You call Waylon Demmitt or Derek Brown? Derek Brown. All right. All right. We'll see. Your your pick is locked in. You're going for Mason Beck up there, right? All right. I think we're going to make this a thing. We're going to start doing fan pick before the race. I th I'm liking this. We're going to have to start doing this. W what do you get if you win? I'm going to have to get you a microphone, too. That's what we're going to have to do. Sounds, sounds good. <laughs> you can come sit next to me. <laughs> Best seat in the house right here as we're getting ready to go green. Flag racing. Eagle Machine, USRA stock cars down into turn number one. Here they come. Mason back holding off Mark Simon and William Garner as they're going to come down into a top three battle right there. Christopher Sawyer and Brian White there in the 41. Here comes Robert White, Daryl Hurd, three wide, bumping and making out of turn number four. My goodness, throw a blanket on fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and all the way back to 14th as they're slicing and nicing and everything nicing right now. Good, clean race and just bumping and banking. Everyone jockeying for position. Here comes Brian White to the inside of Chris Sawyer. Mason Beck still going to be your race leader. Mark Simon, William Garner, your top three. You know what? I'm not even seeing the 85 agent Mike Haleman. He must have lost that motor. I understand he was on one, lost one cylinder a couple weeks ago. So not making the call. Tough break for the 85 age. Right now, it's been Mason Beck, Simon, and Garner show. But here they come down the back stretch. Sawyer and White going to be battling out right there. Oh, White's going to slide up into Sawyer. Sawyer's going to get door checked. Brian White up to that four spot. Smoke out of 21. A P of Darren Phillips as they go around the speedway. He's going to shuffle back towards the back of the pack. They fall single file around the mighty midway speedway. Hurt to the inside of Sawyer. Hurt. Inside to the. Hurt ramping over the 11 B of Derek Brown. Hurt to the back bumper there in the 50. Going to slide up. Lose a bunch of momentum. Here comes the 11 B of Derek Brown on the high side of the speedway. Going to try to get out of the traffic. Mason Beck starting to pull away. Mark Simon. Here comes Garner to the back side of Simon. There, the battle for the second spot all over that back bumper as they are rocking and rolling. Halfway to go. It's been the Mason Beck show from the drop of the green flag. Keep an eye on Garner. He's all over that back bumper. Might as well put his name on the back of Mark Simon's car. Mason back in a turn number four. Garner digging underneath. Simon, nothing doing. Mark's been fast in all of his classes this weekend. Just hasn't been able to get over the hump. Here with this stock card and this weekend, the nine has been fast, just not fast enough. Oh, he's got, oh, caution on the speedway. The 11 B, Derek Brown going up into the wall in the turn three and four. Going to bring out the Joker welding and supply caution. That's what he tried to rip the cushion, and the cushion ripped him. Hey, you can't win them all, my friend. You can't win them all. Heading, heading.
Jaden Pitts high in the 11. BM Derek Brown, tough, tough break for him. Was trying to find something on that high side speedway. It's been the Mason Beck show. We can see if Simon or Garner or White or Sawyer are going to have anything going for him after this restart. Mark Moore, Mark Moore. If you have lost your wallet, you can pick it up at the ticket booth. Mark Moore, you have lost your wallet, you can pick it up at the ticket booth. Lights are off, we're gonna go back to green flag racing this next time by. Mason Beck's gonna be your race leader. Simon Garner, White and Sawyer gonna be your top five. Green, a flag, a back in the air. Here they come rumbling down into turn number one. Here they come on the high side. William Garner getting a run around Mark Simon. Oh, digging on there. Here they come side by side. Mason back down the back stretch to try to pull away. Darren Phillips going to ramp over the infield tractor tire and keep going. Mason back here comes White trying to stick his nose up in here for the race. Mason back holding off. Here comes Garner, Simon, White, Sawyer. White flag in the air. Mason back still your race leader as the five of Robert White well off the pace as he is ripped up sail panel as they come out checkered flag in the air the hypnotist Mason back Mark Simon White and Garner and Sawyer gonna be your top five Race fans down there in victory lane, the zero, the hypnotist of Mason Beck. Thousand dollar payday. Led the distance as he climbs out midway, speedway makes some noise. Thousand dollar man, Mason Beck. As we get ready for our next feature event, $1,500 on the line this next. I feel like Oprah. You're getting money. You're getting money. Everyone's getting money in a big, giant trophy. I got to get me one of them things. As we get ready for your Norse Logging Power I Midwest Modified Main Event, here's how they're going to line up. Starting on the pole in the 84, we're going to be J.C. Newell. On his outside, the 33 of Anthony Sliders Ferreira. Row number two, starting on the inside, is going to be the Catfish, the 83 of Scott Campbell. On his outside, the 64 of Pete Richardson. 
Row number three, starting on the inside, is going to be the 81 of Elijah Keeper on his outside, the 25J of Ryan Hargis. Row number four, starting on the inside, and the 59, Rob Muhlenberg on his outside, the 85 of Trent Wynn. Row number five, starting on the inside, is going to be the E1 of Dean Bell on his outside, the 59T of Austin Treadway. Row number six, starting on the inside, is going to be the 83N of James Newell on his outside, the 15R of Oakley Ragland. Row number seven, starting on the inside, the 05 is going to be Cheyenne Bowman on her outside, the 25 of Billy Jones. Row number eight, starting on the inside, is going to be the four of Caleb Rhodes on his outside, the 28 of Wesley Briggs. Row number nine, starting on the inside, is going to be the 48 of Zach Cheever on his outside, the 68 of Tyson Moore. Row number 10, starting on the inside, is going to be the 45, Colt 45 Cheevers on his outside, the 12X of Darren Burt. And row number 11, starting on the inside, is going to be the 7W of Wesley Breedlove. And rounding out the field, starting 22nd, the 4C of Braden Connor. All right, race fans are going to get snugged up. Lights are going to go off. They're going to go green. The flag racing this next time by $1,500. Hey, one thing. If Scott Campbell doubles up and wins tonight after winning last night, he's going to get $500. But if not, that $500 will trickle down to the top five drivers. $100 each. Compliments of Joe Francis. Newell, Ferrero, front row, getting ready to go on this one. Here we go, 15 laps, $1,500. Slicing it nice, and J.C. Newell, Richardson, Ferreira. This is Campbell, they're gonna go shooting down the max stretch, slicing it nice, and here they come through the field. Everyone's gonna get through turn number two. And a turn number four, race lead gonna go to Anthony Ferreira. JC Newell trying to reel in Ferreira, Campbell Richardson, still your top four, your top. Oh, Cheever's going around at turn number four. He's gonna keep it going, nope. Joker welding caution's gonna come out for the 45 of Cole Cheever's who has had the bad luck bug all weekend long. Tough, tough break there for the 45 of Colt Cheevers. Gonna bring out the Joker welding caution.
Anthony Ferreira went to an early race lead there, the 33 machine. Love that man's story. Professional baseball at a couple different levels. Played for the Springfield Cardinals. Was called up to the St. Louis Cardinals a couple times. Played professionally in Mexico. And uses what he learned in the baseball diamond on the racetrack. Typically, it's the bush light. All right, so Ferreira, Newell, Campbell, Richardson, your top four from last night is your top four steal. Hargis, keeper. Win, Muhlenberg. As they roll around the track right now. Lights are going to go off. Blue, blue, back to green. Flag racing this next time by Ferreira, Newell, Campbell, Richardson. Hargis going to be your top five. Keeper went on the outside looking in. Top driver tonight going to be $1,500 richer. They rock and roll in the turn number three. It's going to be Anthony Ferreira on the pace right now at a snail's pace. Looking for the green flag here. They come down the front stretch. Everyone's going to clear turn number two here. They come out of turn number four. Your race leader, Anthony Ferreira, on the rail. As Campbell's going to get to the back bumper of J.C. Newell as they come into th one and two. Right now down the back shoot, Ferreira starting to pull away from the field. Wanting some green laps under his belt so he can try to pull away. Wesley Breedlove, caution. Going to pull it to the infield, but in a turn two, the 7W Wesley Breedlove going wee. Kind of like a carnival ride. Speaking of carnival rides, if you look back at the pits, look at all those pit lights. It looks like the midway. Hey, we are at the midway, but the carnival midway. Lack of sleep has kicked in, guys. I had too much fun at the bonfire in the infield last night. Y'all missed the party. All right, getting them lined up back up here. Tough break there for 
in the 7W, Wesley Breedlove, but look at row number two, J.C. Newell, Scott Campbell, trying to work his way and getting that 83. He wanted to double up. If he doubles up, he's $500 richer. If not, $500 goes to $100 each going to your top five finishers. Looking for the green flag as they roll through three and four. It's back in the air here. They come down to the turns. Number one, Ferreira Campbell. JC doing a good run here to the inside of the speedway. Dean Bell having a little bit of problems there as the back, towards the back of the racing surface. But right now, it's still all Anthony Ferreira as he's ripping around the speedway right now. Wanting some green a flag a laps last night. He said he had a little bit of contact. It got hard to steer. Felt like he had one to win last night, but right now, that 33 is checking out. Campbell in tow with J.C. Newell right in front of him. Richardson losing ground on your race leaders. It's kind of been a, a way to look into the way the night's been. The top three cars have distanced, distanced themselves throughout the pack. As they come down the front stretch, Ferrer still going to be your race leader. Newell, Campbell, Richardson, Muhlenberg going to be your top five now as it sits on the speedway. Six laps in the book, lap traffic getting ready to become an issue. This is where you make your money. This is where you see who the wheel man really are. Down the max stretch, here comes Ferrer to the inside of Breed Love. Going to put him one lap down. Breed Love going to the high sides. Newell going to get around him pretty easily too. Cars now getting put now lap after lap as we are getting some green lap. We are at the halfway mark. Almost to the halfway mark. Past halfway. I don't want it to end, guys. That's where I'm at. It's right now. Here comes JC Newell catching up to the back bumper of Anthony Ferreira. Lap traffic. Cheyenne Bowman right in front of Anthony Ferreira now. J.C. Newell has closed the gap, but so has Scott Campbell. As they go into turn number three now, this is going to turn into a race right now. Race fans, this is what you got to look at as Darren Burt's got a panel flying off the back of his car, and it looks like it might hold on. We'll have to see. Ferreira looking to put the E on of Dean Bell one lap now. Going to slide underneath him. J.C. Newell, Scott Campbell still running second and third. Comes Ferreira to the inside of Burn, trying to get around him. This might hold him up. Yep, here comes J.C. Nord to the back bumper of Ferreira. Ferreira going to go to the, oh, caution, Treadway high in turn one. I got debris in two. I got Treadway high in turn number one, and I got debris in turn number two. That black bumper came off the 12X of Darren Burt. Oh, race fans. The Joker, Weldon Kosh, is going to come out here for the 59T of Austin Treadway. But Darren Burt lost his back bumper or some...
Getting them all lined to back up here. Three laps remaining. All right, we're getting them stacked and packed and loaded up here. Three laps remaining. Who's it going to be? J.C. Knowles been on the back bumper of Anthony Ferrer the last few laps. Getting ready to rock and roll. Three laps to go. It's going to be pure pandemonium out of turn number four. Here they come. Green flags in the air. Ferrer going to throw it hard into one and two. Newell Campbell. Here comes Peter Richardson. Rob Muhlenberg going to slice and dice. Here comes Ferrer. Started outside row number two. Is he going to hit us all his corners? Is he going to do the complete game shutout? Two to go. Ferrari, you're a race leader. Newell trying to find something on the low side of the speedway. So is Campbell, the catfish man. And a turn number four. Newell to the back bumper of Ferrara. Doctor's jacket in the air. Final time around the speedway. Is he going to do the complete game shutout? Down the back stretch. Yeah, he's gonna throw a slider into turns number one. Gonna slide it with a curveball into turn number four. Checkered flag, Anthony Ferreira. JC Newell, Scott Campbell, Peter Richardson. Hey, guess what? Your top four from last night are your top four from tonight. Just in a different order. Whoa, whoa. Got some extracurriculars down here on the front stretch. Anthony Ferreira making his way down there to victory lane. Going to be a $2,100 payday for him. Or sorry, a $1,600 payday. <laughs> Race fans, he won last weekend in Springfield at the KTTS Ozark Area Dirt Track Championships. Ran away from that one. Midway Speedway makes some noise. He's probably cramping up if I know him.
Make some noise for Anthony Ferreira! On an absolute hot streak here as of late. Anthony Ferreira parking it in victory lane because Scott Campbell didn't double up courtesy of Joe Francis. The top five drivers get an extra $100 added to their payout. So that $1,500 check is going to say $1,600 for Anthony Sliders Ferreira, your Midwest Mod feature winner. As we get ready for our final feature event of Fall Brawl 2022, race fans, I do not want it to end as we get ready for the USRA tuners and here's how they're going to line up on the pole it's going to be the 20 of 10 Tim Day on his outside the V31 of Brandon Vino row number two starting on the inside is going to be the two of Justin Day on his outside the 93 of Daniel Barton row number three starting on the inside is going to be the 23 of Nick Bradshaw on his outside the 41 of Corbin Mooney Row number four, starting on the inside, is going to be the 34 of Derek Patton on his outside, the 42 of Gregory Owens. Row number five, starting on the inside, and all by his lonesome on the back row, the 3M of Bobby Mooney. 12 laps going to be their distance, $250 on the line, but also getting spread out throughout the field. Another $250 added to the tuners first in a memory of Gary Dunn. Tegan, can I have a bite of your cheeseburger? Oh, thank you. You're actually, wow, you're going to share. I'm going to eat the rest. Okay. Ha, she said I could have the rest. So, um, breaking news coming from turn number three from our good friend Joe. Anthony only won because he straightened his spindle. Joe straightened Anthony's spindle. Hot take. Take it as it is. All credit goes to Joe for Anthony's win. As we get ready for our final Feature event tonight. Here comes your USRA Tuner main event. Update out of Boone. Ryan Gilmore finishes seventh. Looking for the green flag, USRA Tuner style. At a turn number four, here they come. Final feature of the night. Oh man, Tim Dathan, the throttle quick. Justin Day 
Brandon Vino on the high side and Daniel Barton. Nick Bradshaw going to be your top five around the speedway right now as they're going to go into turn number four. Lap number one is going to go to the 20 of 10 day. Can he get it doubled up on the weekend? Justin Day getting around there. Vino a little bit of a squirrely there. As him and Daniel Barton racing side by side for that third spot right now, though, is the Day Day Show. One more time here again. Lamp starting to tick down down the back stretch. They're going to go. Here comes Justin Day to the back bumper of Tim Day. Slicing. Vino on the high side of the speedway and bringing Nick Bradshaw with him as they come around the, the track. Right now, though, it's Tim Day, Justin Day, kind of a reminiscent of what happened last night. Justin got the best for about another lap, and then boom, it was gone. Down out of turn number four, Tim Day going to be a race leader. Justin Day trying to find something, trying to go up a little bit higher on the speedway, trying to find a different line. Vino gone around Barton. Now those two are starting to rip some high grooves around the speedway. Down into turn number three, Tim Day's going to be a race leader. Justin on his bump. We're going to get the halfway mark. Six up, six to go. Down into turn number three, but a solid one for this one. Tim and Justin Day walking from the field. Brandon Vino, Daniel Barton, Nick Bradshaw. Their second, third, and, or sorry, third, fourth, and fifth as they fall single file. With laps ticking and down in the, the final feature event here at the Mighty Midway Speedway 11 in Missouri. Fall brawl night number two has been an absolute dandy, and we're going to end it with a dandy down the back stretch. Here comes Tim Day. Going to do a little bit of high side hustle there. Justin Day playing a little bit of catch the back bumper there. Good little battle we got going on right here for the lead. Tim going to slide up. Here comes Justin to the inside. Going to run to the back bumper. Oh, man, we might have something going on here. Reminiscent of what happened last night. Here comes Justin Day on the inside, trying to make a run out of turn number four. All going to be side by side of the line. Tim Day holding on, Justin to the door panel. Oh, this is going to turn out to be a pretty good one right here. Here comes Justin Day to the inside of Tim. Can Tim double up on the weekend, or is this one? Here comes Justin Day. Side by side through three and four lap traffic right in front of them. Justin Day, one to go, your new race leader. Pat right there in the lap car, going to play a little bit of pick game. Justin Day able to open up a little bit of lead. Oh, contact Tim Day. Off the throttle. Checkered flag for the two of Justin Day. Brandon Vino, Daniel Barton, Nick Bradshaw, Tim Day going to finish with a broken front end. Mooney and Gregory Owens going to round out the field with Patton. They're in the 34. Justin Day, the two machine, going to victory lane. As he's making his way down to victory lane. All right, Justin Day getting ready to climb out of that ride right there. Midway Speedway, get ready to make some noise. Make some noise for your feature winner, the two of Justin Day. Yeah, 
Race fans, remember, no racing here next week. If you want to go catch some racing action, go head out Saturday night, Springfield Raceway for the Route 66 Trust. Cash money late models in the house. Going to be a 66 lap main event late a model feature event down there, Springfield Raceway. The following Friday, we'll be right back here, right here at the mighty Midway Speedway. Congratulations to all our winners. Thank you to all the staff, race fans. Thank you for coming out, and we'll see you next time right here at the mighty Midway Speedway.